My name is Rachel Minot, I'm a curatorial trainee, and I'm here to show you the Piccadilly Circus station model. This architecture model is a fantastic example of how an interesting but inanimate object can really be brought to life by the public. The model was made by Harold Harding and Sophie Blair Layton in the 1920s to uh, work out the best location for the booking hall, the escalators, the tunnel and diverted services after the area was tunneled out. It also shows the uh, underground station layout in relation to the surface structures, most notably the Eros statue. It is part of the larger reconstruction of the Piccadilly Circus tube station between 1926 and 1929. Harding was at the time a young aspiring engineer. He would later be knighted in 1968 and be known as one of the country's leading tunnelling experts. He was responsible for building a number of the tunnels under London and was in charge of the infrastructure of the city during the Second World War. Sophie Blair Layton, who assisted in the construction of this model, later became Harold's wife. The lovely romantic story about this particular model is that they became engaged whilst constructing this lovely piece together. What has truly been a treasure is that their granddaughter, Amanda Davy, recently wrote into the museum to add some personal touches to the story. For example, the width of the model was determined by a doorway through which it had to travel during construction. But Harding and Layton were so meticulous with their other measurements that everything else was perfectly to scale in this model. So, when a small section of tunnelling didn't match what it was supposed to um, in the model, they were so confident that they knew it couldn't be a mistake. Sure enough, they went on a site visit to Piccadilly Circus and they found that the anomaly is on site and not in the model. In reality, a small section of tunnelling in Piccadilly Circus Station has a step down from the tube. 